from, from Screen Shelf. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of From Screen to Shelf. I'm here with Chase, and we are here to finish off Spooky Month. We are going to rank, I think it's a 100 or close to 100 horror movies Yeah, <laughs> yeah. on a tier a list. We're going to try to do it as, as quickly as we can. There's a lot of movies here, man. But uh, we thought it'd be a fun way just to kind of finish off Spooky Month, especially with all the horror movies we've been talking about. This gives us the opportunity to kind of gloss over several movies and films that we just haven't really discussed over the last month so uh chase is gonna pop open the tier list right yes. now so we can kind of take a look at what we're dealing with um there are some i think we listed there that we just haven't seen um, yeah we went and got those out of the way yeah because we haven't seen some of these which i mean yeah some of these i never even heard of but i think we we left ourselves with a list of maybe of like 90 about 90 movies there that we have uh that we have seen uh, and that we're going to try to tier rate and rank, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but we're going to gloss over each movie and try to rank them and see what the final product looks like. We're either going to be totally ashamed of what the tier ranking looks like, or we're going to pat ourselves on the back for a good job done. But uh, yeah, let's get started, man. I'm going to give us an hour timer just to kind of keep us on track. Um, I, we've done pretty good job ranking movies before. I think we've stayed under the timer before, but yeah. Um, I'll put it in an hour just to keep us on track. And then what's the first movie there? Just so we, so I know which one we're starting 28 with. days later and I, I haven't seen it. Only you have. So, yeah. So, um, 28 days later, very, very solid movie, dude. I'd probably put it on an A tier. Um, it's a A-tier. very, very brutal movie, uh, post-apocalyptic kind of rage. I think they call it like a rage virus that takes over great britain uh killian murphy's in it does a solid job as always it's, it's a really brutal movie um oh yeah if you really like just kind of post-apocalyptic zombie kind of virus uh movies um it, it's really solid I, i'd leave it at an a for now a? um okay. yeah I i'd leave fair. it as an a i know a lot of people probably put it as an s i just don't know what else we're dealing with because there's like 90 movies here. yeah we got so at many. the end maybe we can put some around but I'll, I'll leave it at an a for now yeah. Um, what's the next one there, dude? Is that uh, American Werewolf, Werewolf in London? Yeah. I'm curious uh, how you feel about that because I don't like this movie as much as other people. Really? Do. I I don't. I agree. I I mean, I'd leave it as a C. I I That's liked it. It's not like I think it was like overhyped to me when people described it to me and told yeah. me to watch it. It's a fun movie. The practical effects are actually really solid. Yeah, um, that's one of the biggest things. Otherwise, I found the story super dull. Yeah, it's kind of like, like a really corny, stuff. predictable. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of predictable, but it's a fun. What what year was that, dude? Do you do you remember what year 80, that was? That was like... 83, 84? Yeah, because I was gonna say it's John very Landis. much a it's very much a product of its time. Yeah. Um I I had fun with it. I just didn't walk out of it like, you know, a whole bunch of people just you know, they've highly regarded this movie and it was like constantly recommended to me, but I just didn't feel it at the end of the day. I, I think a seat's fair for now. Yeah, I think that yeah. is. And then next we've got the original Annabelle. And oh. I do want to make a commentary on that. Yeah. Um I think the original one's pretty bad. Like it's just it's 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 got <laughs> some good cinematography and some good scenes, but I just don't it's just it's weightless, it's pointless. It just felt like a movie to make off of uh, a, a somewhat not even centralized character from the conjuring mm-hmm. universe, you know. But it's like the, the second nun. one, I wanted to shout out. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the nun easily. I did want to shout out that the second one, I believe it's Annabelle Creations. I That's the wrong. one that takes place in that southern kind of farmhouse. Yes, that one yes. actually is great. I like, actually really, really enjoyed good. that one, dude. I saw that one theatrically. I haven't seen it since its theatrical release, but I remember enjoying it quite a bit. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And that's how they yeah, honestly I, should have started <laughs> Annabelle. Because mm-hmm. I think there's only two, right? Yeah. It's just that one and, and the first Annabelle. No, there's three. Annabelle, Annabelle Creations, and then Come Home. I don't think I've seen Come Home yet. It's terrible. 
Oh, okay. So we're <laughs> it's, gonna it's just we'll like just stay. One, yeah. We'll stay. So where would yeah. you put this one at? This is the, the original, not yeah. D is is totally fair. And this next one you haven't seen actually, right? I haven't seen this one at all. This one is which one? This is Bad Taste by Peter Jackson, one of his original movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were telling me it's about been it. Been a long, long time since I've seen it, but I just remember it being. I mean, a lot of Peter Jackson's early movies, like um, Brain Dead, Meet the Feebles, Bad Taste, are really fucking eccentric and weird. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I don't remember it well enough to really be able to be like, oh, it's amazing, or I, I, I definitely remember it not being bad. It definitely is a product of its time, and you'd have to be a fan of that type of movie, which is super low budget, practical effects, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, I mean, I think I'd be comfortable putting it at a C. Just because, like, I it's middle of the road. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's not S A B. It's definitely not bad, and it it's definitely better than Annabelle. I turn it on over Annabelle for sure. Yeah, know? for sure. I think C is just kind of like it, it's a decent movie, but it's not anything to write home about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then that's um, fair enough. Have you seen Basket Case? Yeah, is this the one? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Is this like there's like a Siamese twin or something, and like a hotel yeah. or I, I barely two degree. This movie, yeah. <laughs> I only really re I've seen it twice. I bought the 4K about a month or two ago. Uh -huh. um, it's actually not even my favorite one. I, I think it's OK. I put it in up there again. This C it has some good moments and stuff, and it grew on me mm -hmm. my second watch. But I think the sequel is much better. And What's I'm a the huge sequel fan for of Frank it? Uh, just a basket case two. basket oh, case ba two. Okay. And there's three of them. Yeah, I think basket case two and three are immensely better than the first one. Really? Um, I've only I've only seen that basic. one. But I barely remember it. Yeah, it was just like not yeah. memorable to me. I mean, I'd probably yeah. give it a C. Yeah, I'd put it in there. Like, I mean, I know it has its fans that'd be like, oh, what? No, B. It's just like, come on. If you're a fan of that movie, if you've seen the second one, you cannot argue with me that it's <laughs> not better. Like the second. Now one I'm is curious. So I want to see the second one. But it, it, is the second one better than the third one? A uh, little bit. The third one just has like this, like I'd say 10, 15 minute run where I really got checked out of the movie for a little okay. while because it just wasn't that great. But um, other than that, it's almost the same exact thing as the second one, you know, yeah. high stake hijinks and stuff like that. Because if you've seen the first one, I mean, I could really kind of sell it uh, non spoilery, but it's more or less like he finds a school of people that are a lot like his brother you know mm. um so it's just really cool to have those different um practical effects and other things going on there think of it like it's X, like x-men to a degree yeah kind of cool yeah that's dope i gotta mm -hmm. check that one out i didn't even know there was a sequel to be of uh, it to be honest yeah they're actually pretty solid um and this next one i yeah, actually thought that? i had I seen see. i always see that poster but i always get it confused with peter jackson's brain dead um that one I haven't seen. This one that's that poster, I believe it's by Adam Silver, I believe is the director of this one. Um, I've never checked out that one, but I mean, if this was Peter Jackson's, it'd be an easy A. Um, I've never, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this one. I have not. I might have a long time ago, but not enough to remember it because there's another one, Brain Damage, which is what I thought that was at first. Mm. And then I saw it and I thought it was, dude, Peter Jackson's Brain Dead is insane. Also called Dead Alive. It's fucking wild, man. I've it's heard of that one. Evil Dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Evil Dead just gory as hell. A lot of his early stuff he was like really highly commended on. Yeah. Yeah, he was really, really good. Um, this next one, this is gonna be the Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, Dracula. Dracula. I haven't seen it. Uh it's been a while since I've seen it, dude. It's uh I, I'm not a big fan of it. I know uh, I kind of want to say D, but I know that might make really? some people mad. I'll put it as C. I, I think it's a C. It's not a horrible movie. It's just kind of like, I don't know. There's some cringe to it. I feel like Coppola, like obviously later throughout his career, it's like he, he hates saying he's just gotten worse. Yeah. Um, I mean, and we can, you know, obviously the the latest uh, movie that he made. I still haven't seen it, by the way, but um, he, it's just it's just kind of cringe to me. I, I wasn't feeling it. The story's kind of forgettable. Uh, some of the performances are pretty solid, and some of the the cinematography is pretty decent, but it's not nothing to write home about. I think we can leave it at a C. Yeah, I think that's a fair spot. Um, I definitely want to watch yeah. it. It looks really cool. But now we've got Candyman. Candyman. That's the, the original, original Candyman. Candyman. It's been I'd a while say, since I've seen that one. I don't know. I think it's about an 8.5 out of 10. 
So you, um, okay, I so you, commentary. I I'd be stuck between a B and an A because like B is eighty percent, ninety percent, and that's like ninety eight to a hundred percent right here. And S, yeah, to me, I think that's like near perfect movie at the top. Yeah. So you say you put uh, it at a at a B because I was honestly like C or B. Like yeah, I, I'd settle for a B. Okay, yeah, because Candyman like the is that drag, drag man. Yeah, that, that's the problem I have with it too. It's just like the narrative of it is kind of boring a little bit, yeah. but. When you get to the suspenseful parts, it's it's done really well and it's it's executed yeah. effectively, but it's just it's kind of a boring movie to me. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't argue that. I, I think the the Candyman parts with um cannot believe I'm forgetting his name. He's an absolute legend. Tony Todd. Uh, um mm-hmm. when Tony Todd shows up, he he's just wonderful. And then Did you also see the, the new one by the by the way? Did you watch it? Yeah, I one? liked it. I haven't yeah, seen it. It's I, decent. I, I think I mean it's the same exact feeling as the original one. It has mm. a, a very similar social commentary. It has a very similar narrative. It has a very similar like pacing. Okay. Um, I mean, it, it's very respectful to the franchise. You know, I haven't um, seen it yet. There's some people that hate that movie, dude. But I mean, hmm. if you like the original one and you kind of riff on the the new one, I just don't really understand how because it's yeah. almost identical. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a good movie. I need to rewatch it. Actually, I've only seen it once, but I remember liking the like like the same. last. Eight minutes are crazy. It's a fun movie. And then, um, does it carry? Yeah. So I did want to shout out for our video listeners that might be peeping this out and notice that some of these have newer posters. I don't. We didn't make this list. If yeah. we did, we wouldn't have <laughs> had had these not scenes on here. But um, shout out who is it? A, a-, a- Ron that made a- it. Yeah. So <laughs> this one, a- a- Ron. Is, they went with the newer posters. I'm sure yeah. they're very educated in horror. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but we're going to treat the new posters. We might have some commentary on the new ones if we've seen it, um, but we're going to treat these as the original. So yeah. we're going to be talking about the Chloe Grace Moretz poster as if it's Brian De Palma's carry, which to me is an S or an A. Yeah, I'd give it an A. I don't know if I'd yeah. give it an A. I, I'd give it an A. I, I really enjoy it. I think he, yeah. did, he did. When was that? That was like 75, 76. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it's a solid movie. Yeah, it um, I think it, it whenever it comes to like a mental standpoint, I think it really, really tells a very strong narrative about like um, residential abuse and mental abuse. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think it tells a really good story. And like, I think the last five minutes are some of the best five mi- last five minutes in a horror movie ever. Oh, for sure. Uh, I, I could see how some people I've heard some people say it doesn't age well. I can see that, but it's a time capsule of its time. And if you can throw yourself into that, that era, it's great. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a few years, but I think, yeah, obviously the ending is pretty, you know, it's pretty highly regarded. I, I, I didn't like the remake with Chloe, whatever. Cause I think Julianne Moore was the mom in that one. Right. I haven't seen the, Oh, you haven't uh, seen the Chloe. remake. Yeah. I didn't like it at all. I, I kind of thought it, it it sucked, but the original, it, it is kind of like a product of its time. I could see how people would say that it just didn't age well, but you kind of have to put yourself in, you know, the 1975, 1976 era and, and kind of throw yourself into what that was. And I think it's a very solid movie. I think it's really well done, dude. Yeah. No, I think that's well said. I already took care of the next movie. We don't even have to. What was it? it. Children. Oh yeah, we both I think we both said a lot on the podcast <laughs> that we're just not fans of this movie. Dude. Well, you I don't know how you've done it, dude. You've watched shout out to Chase because he's watched all of them, I right? Watched every, uh, there's eleven of them, dude. And uh, dude. when I found that out, I bought the DVD set that has seven of them, and then I found ways to watch the other ones. And honestly, the original one is oh, it's 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 still not good. It's it's not even well made. It's I, I like, don't know why it's, it's not, not scary. It's not no. scary whatsoever. And I, I went in that movie thinking it was going to be scary. And it's like kind yeah. of like comical in a way. Yeah, like, it's terrible. Like it's 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 kind of funny. And it's just I, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I, I just felt super confused coming out of that movie, man. And it's just the, the narrative's boring. Kids aren't scary. Like it's just it, I, yeah. I, yeah. I've never had a good time with Children of the Corn. And it sounds like the sequels aren't any better. So no, there's yeah. a, this one that the poster is. That's that was the, the remake, right? One. Yeah, that's the Shutter one that just came out last year. It's probably one of the stronger ones. It still sucks 98% of the time, but it has like some really good scenes actually, like with this girl that's in the poster. Like there's this part, it's in the trailer, but she's like wearing a gas mask and she's like gassing the whole town. And it's oh, kind of okay. cool. And it's in yeah. slow-mo, so it looks really nice. 
Um, but honestly, the best one I would have to say is Revelations. Um, that one, I actually, I think I gave two and a half out of five stars on Letterboxd. That <laughs> sure. one actually was pretty <laughs> That's the best yeah. one. <laughs> he said yeah, it's pretty good. It's two and a half stars. <laughs> every, I think every other one's a one and a, one. I genuinely, as a commentary, because I don't think I'll get the chance to make this uh, the video I wanted to, because mm -hmm. I was going to make a video over how Children of the Corn is the worst horror franchise, but I wanted to see every other horror franchise. Yeah. Um, like, I literally just watched every single Ring movie, because I thought they were going to be Yeah, bad. but I've noticed. Like I've seen you've them? logged them. Yeah. yeah, I've been watching you <laughs> yeah. log them on, on, uh, on the yeah. letterbox. So, I figured they'd be bad, but no, they're actually pretty solid. Um, but no, yeah, Children of the Corn still stands triumphant as what I would say the is worst. the worst horror. It's just a shitty premise, and even when you're working it with is. a shitty premise, there's nothing that you can do. The man that walks behind the rose, dude. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't live in Nebraska. <laughs> Maybe if you live in Nebraska, you'll give a shit. But <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's where the fans of the movie are, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that. What is that on, one? That's Child's Play. Oh, okay, yeah, it's it's cutting off for me a little bit. Yeah, Child's Play original. That's a I don't know, I man. That in. Oh, really? I thought you were gonna I, give that like a solid like A at least. Well, so I I think the original one's really good, mm -hmm. um, but I think there's definitely better in the series. I'd say a B because I think the second one is better. The third one, it's better than the third one. But then you hit Bride, which to me is an S tier yeah. movie because I'm a hardcore Chucky from that. My wife loves um, that so movie. <laughs> Bride of Chucky. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's one so of her good. favorites. It's I, the thing with I think the thing with Chucky, the original. I I really enjoy it. I think it's just like it's like what you said. It's like it was finding its footing, right? It was like it, yeah. this was kind of like a weird, quirky idea they were working with, and and they found their footing and set a good foundation with it. But then they started yeah. doing a little bit better with subsequent installments. So I yeah I, I I put that as a B. It's a fun movie. I think it's still yeah. fun to watch when you kind of just put them all on back to back. It's just more basic slasher than what Chucky gets known for because yeah. Chucky has a unique identity that gets found in the second one. Um, but yeah, uh, Christine. Oh, man, I, I fucking love that, that forever, movie, dude. I haven't seen that in forever, and I feel kind of ashamed because I know that's like a classic, but I barely remember it. You might I think it has one, one of the best, like. I genuinely think it has one of the best shots in a horror movie of all time. Like whenever the Christine is on fire and going down mm. the road with mm -hmm. just the shot coming towards the camera. I think it's one of the greatest shots in horror history, man. Um, the so rest solid. of the movie, it's, it's hit or miss. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I think it's really good. I'd put it in B. Yeah, B's fair. I don't remember too much, but I only seen it once. And that was like fucking over 10, 15 years ago. I actually got to look up my letterbox review for this because the only reason I've even seen Cujo is because there was that. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, like, I, I remember Cujo, but I've never movie. seen it. Wait, say that again. Do you remember that $12? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I liked it apparently when I watched it. Um, <laughs> Sometimes I got to go back. You got to look back. Letterboxd. Oh, my God. Well, so Amazon had a price era that we were all freaking out over in the Discord server whenever the Kino Lorber release was coming out. Like a week before release, it had a price error of $12, and all of ours got shipped. That's the only reason I've oh, seen it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah, everyone was freaking out. Yeah, but I gave it a, a three and a half. So, I, I mean, C is probably That's where awesome. I put it. I think it has oh, some okay. good moments and some not so good other Isn't moments. That, is it like a Stephen King? Like is it based off a Stephen King novel? Yeah, with the oh, okay. uh, Cujo, the um, St. Bernard. Yeah, I, I yeah I'm not familiar with it. I I've seen. I mean, it's always on like sale on Amazon. Yeah, I still always. don't buy it. Yeah, it, oh. it's it's fun and great 4K restoration. Dawn of the Dead, dude. I mean that that might be our first. I mean, would you put that as A or S? I'd say A, because I yeah. think Day's better. Yeah, that's fair. I put it as as, as an A. I think it's yeah, just Dawn a solid movie, great. dude. That's a super yeah. solid movie. There's something that has me more partial to Night of the Living Dead, though. I don't know why. Really? Um, I like Dawn. I've only seen Dawn once. I have the 4K, or I've seen it twice. Once on 4K and then just once uh, forever ago. Uh, did, but I think Day's immensely better. Did it's it? It's here for Dave. Or Dave. Correct me if I'm wrong for this one. Did this, did this one have a second site release or no? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I think I remember someone was trying to look for it in the server. Yeah. Yeah, it was super hard to find for the longest time, but it, uh, I don't know if it's back in print, but it was just coming and going in print for the longest time. Oh, okay. You can't stream it or anything. It's just like what we were talking about 28 days later. For real? Mm -hmm. No way, man. So the, the rights crazy. are super unknown. Nobody knows who owns the rights. That's that's quirky. That's weird. Yeah. 
So that's why uh, Second Sight was only able to secure something about like UK rights were easier to get because mm-hmm. they can actually track that down. That's why Second Sight was able to put it out. But they Damn, not even our, our homies Tubi could do anything about it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Day of the Dead's on there, weirdly enough. A lot that's of the George Romero movies are like that, man. Like Night of the Living Dead was immediately public domain because they didn't copyright anything. That's why there's like eight, nine remakes of the original Night of the Living Dead. Oh, it's shit. never been copyrighted. That's yeah, dude, his his history is the weirdest, dude. Just like with uh, Martin and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, dude, that's a whole podcast episode. You can talk about George A. Romero. His movies are so weird when it comes to rights, man. Oh, shit, I gotta look that crap up. I, I love Dawn of the Dead, though. It's been a while since I've seen it. I wouldn't mind getting the second sight release for it. Yeah, That'd great be transfer. To watch. Yeah. And you've seen and... Dead Ringers, right? No, I haven't, actually. You haven't? No, yeah, I have I not. This. So some people might bring up my um david cronenberg let me make sure i gotta go on letterbox see what i, I just like, I, I got this, yeah. <laughs> remember how i felt when i first watched it okay yep so in my cronenberg review i actually ranked that as dead last i want to say i think i gave it a c or a d um but i watched it again twice this year and it's grown on me i think i gave it a three and a half then i went up to a four it just really, mm. really works, but you got to be super locked into this movie, man. You really got to give a shit about the people in this movie. Otherwise, it has no payoff. Like, if you get distracted in the slightest amount, it just doesn't work because, like, it's, it's, you've got to be invested basically in like these two twin guy in a college because it's a Cronenberg movie. Oh, is this so, the one with what's his face with Jeremy Irons? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I, maybe I have seen this. Yeah, Holy crap. where they I like fall I, yeah. in love with the same girl and stuff like that. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of I, I don't remember enough to comment on it, but I remember as soon as you started saying the twin colleges, I was like Jeremy <laughs> yeah. Irons, dude. Holy yeah. crap! Yeah, I remember seeing this, and I, I honestly thought it was like okay. I think I I was like I walked away kind of like mid, yeah. I, maybe like a C. Yeah. I don't remember too much about it, but I didn't hate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that's what I that was. Great. Yeah. I think it's a really good movie. It's definitely one of his most experimental movies mm-hmm. um, that doesn't involve really any horror. I don't know why it's on this list, but to each their own. <laughs> There's I been mean, some weird movies I think we've seen that we took off that weren't horror. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Have What's you seen Dog Soldiers? Here, no, I haven't. Holy shit. Man, I'm going to catch some slack for this. This thing has more, like Uh-oh. one of the mo- biggest cult followings of a movie that I can think of. Let me see where you're and putting I just it. Don't like it, man. I just don't oh, like that movie, man. <laughs> I just <laughs> damn. Don't, man. I what don't is it like about? I got, like a super quick synopsis. Uh, dude, it's been almost four or five years since I've seen it. I could be butchering this, but um, I don't remember. It's some type of war. I don't remember if it's World War II or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But these people turn into lichens. Okay. And like they're they're dog soldiers. So they're like war. That like sounds war really soldiers. weird. <laughs> Dude, it's got amazing practical effects. I just didn't war movies really just don't capture me in. You know, I've okay. really got to be locked in. And I I think I mean there's really nothing that does what it does. I really probably should give it a second chance so that people don't come at me below. Um, like I know Deftones listens to us and I think he gave it a five stars. Oh, shit. <laughs> like it's one of his favorite movies. And you just dragged it to a D. Yeah, I just dragged it. <laughs> I just it just didn't work for me. I've only seen it once. Maybe I need to give it a second check, but I really didn't care for it. What that. year was it? Or around what year did it come out? Nineties. Okay. Maybe no, early two thousands actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I gotta check it's not it out. too old. I mean you're not making you me just... excited to watch it, but yeah, like I know the guy that did that did, uh, I believe, the lair on Shutter, and that one had some good ideas, and it was kind of similar okay. in that in that vein. But again, I probably feel the same way. Like I gave it two and a half on Letterbox, so it's not like I absolutely despise mm. it. It's just D is fifty percent to me. You know what I mean? No, that's fair. Yeah, that's totally fair. I could probably so, remove Annabelle Lowe, but uh, I haven't seen <laughs> Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Have you? Yeah, like I said, dude, I'd seen it so long ago. I mean, it was it was a fun movie. I, I thought it was it was really really well done and re- really well executed. I'd probably put it as a as a B. I, I don't know. I, I think it's just going to depend on. I, I think you'd like it a lot. I think if you like what you said, kind of like when we were talking about um, Carrie, it's like you mm-hmm. put your mind of like when that was made and just kind of respect it for what it is as a product of its time. It, it it's it's a solid movie, but I can see where people say it doesn't age well or you know what I mean. It's it doesn't hold up, but I really like it. I think it's it's solid and it, it's it's really really well executed. So I'd leave it as a yeah. B. Hell yeah, yeah. What's this yeah, one? Dude? I can barely that. see this. This one's like super pixelated. <laughs> uh, that one is Event Horizon. 
I'll let you do oh, that, man. You, you already know how I feel about that. Movie. Event Horizon, dude. You you really liked it. No, is this? Oh no, I'm confusing. No. What's the one? What's the one with Pandorum. the poster? Pandorum. That's the one that you like. I like a lot. Pandorum a lot. Event yeah. Horizon. Didn't you say it was like a D or something like that? I just I, I've only seen it once. Again, it falls in the same vein as Dog Soldiers. Like I'd put it in a D. I just it had some good moments. I believe who's that? Sam Rockwell in that. Mm-hmm. Um, Who directed it? Paul W S Anderson, not W S uh, Anderson. Um, yeah, the guy that did Resident Evil. Talking about yeah. Our boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just man, the the movie reeks of studio interference and it's just so easily distractible while you're watching it. And I, yeah. and I hate to judge a product of it, but it's like I just feel like it doesn't work because it doesn't feel like a complete project to me. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's the only reason I don't like it. It doesn't feel like it was complete, even though who, who recommended it to you? I remember someone had recommended it to you. Event Hore- uh, Event yeah. Horizon. It was Craig, like Craig? forever ago, man. Oh, okay. You told me to watch it finally. So yeah, I I, 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 I confuse these two all the time, dude. I know we were talking about Pandora recently. Yeah, that one just I don't know why I was confused with Event Horizon and Pandora. I haven't seen either of them, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I, you this haven't is... seen Event Horizon? Mm-mm. I got that. Then I'll take the shit for that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people like when the Steel Book was coming out. I mean, people were like clamoring all over it. Yeah, people Steel Book sold out movie, pretty quickly. Man. Shit, yeah, I gotta I watch it. it. I mean, it's one of my favorite Steel Books that I have on my shelf. Um, yeah, it's just it, it's it's everything I love. Like I love Pandorum because it's quirky, it's fun, it has like cocaine field editing in it. Like it's just super two thousands, man. There's just something when I was watching Event Horizon. I mean, I'll probably watch it tonight again. Just give it a second chance because it's everything I love: sci fi, horror, and yeah, sci fi horror. We've talked about. There's not a lot of movies yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like right up my alley. Um, Friday the Friday Thirteenth Part easy. One. Yeah, I mean, it's not like the best Friday the 13th, which we've talked about, but I, I at least for I, I considering it's horror movies that we're just ranking horror movies. And like for me, it's kind of like an I'd say an A. I know that's I think it has kind of one of atrocious. the best horror endings. Yeah, no, the ending is fantastic. I, I can totally see where it's a B, but considering it's like Halloween and then we're talking about horror movies specific like that, that's a yeah. classic to me. So I'd, I'd leave it as a as a as an A. We, and we've talked about that movie for being. <laughs> You yeah, dude, and so many podcast. people have been saying lately that that movie mm-hmm. just sucks, and it's like how, like the <laughs> formula that this movie is influenced mm-hmm. tens of thousands of B horror. Oh movies, yeah, maybe, but I think know? that's where it's it's dampened down, dude. I think it's just kind of like, well, what's a good example? Like my friend recently just saw The Witch, and he he was like, it's a good movie. I liked it. Like he gave it like a like a B, like a low B or something or a mid B, and yeah. And I'm like, dude, I think it's just because there's been so many A24 movies coming out that it, it almost like dampens your experience with The Witch. And the same thing with like Friday yeah. the 13th. If you've seen a whole bunch of slashers and then you go back and watch the original Friday the 13th, it's like, yeah, uh, it just doesn't age well. But it's like, again, in the context of when it came out, I think it's it's a classic. Yeah, I agree. And I probably watched that when I was six or seven. So that's probably why I don't get that vibe from it. Yeah. You know, because it was one of the first, if not the first one that I saw. Yeah, it's a fun and, movie. Um, you haven't Fright seen night? the original I seen Fright, Fright Night, no. Yeah, it's a B. B. Um, it's really, 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 really good. I could, I, I mean, that would be like an eight and a half out of ten for me. It's not perfect mm. by any means, but like the, the basic plot synopsis of that one for anybody that hasn't seen it, it has a really nice Sony transfer in a 4K steelbook. Um, it's basically like these people are starting to suspect that their neighbor's like a vampire, and they kind of catch on to him a little bit, and it just kind of worlds collide. And it's actually really well done. It's um, I don't remember if it was directed. I don't think it was. It might be um, Tom Holland, who also wrote Psycho 2. Mm. Maybe he directed okay. that. The, the dude writes so many and has directed a few like yeah. really, really solid uh, movies. But I Sounds haven't like seen a the fun remake. movie. Yeah. And you are and the only Dust- one that has seen. Yeah. Dust Dust Dawn. 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 I, I love that movie, dude. It's it's a. Uh... <laughs> I'll put it at a B. I think it's really, really fun. I don't think it's like a tier classic. I mean, I but it's developed a cult following over the years. I mean, it's just pretty much like these guys just trying to uh, cross. I think it was like cross the border or something like that. And they're like kind of stuck in a saloon with, in fending off vampires. It's kind of silly and over the top. It's hmm. super violent. And it's it's a fun movie, though, dude. I mean, you got George Clooney and Quinn Tarantino in the lead roles. <laughs> like it's a weird yeah. dynamic. Um, I had fun with it though. It's it's a solid B movie. I liked it. I mean, there's so many. I haven't seen uh, a lot of the spinoff material though. There's been a lot of spinoff material for for that movie that which I haven't really seen. But the originals, it, it's it's a great flick. I'm I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Yeah, that's the one where he sucks on Selma Hayek's foot, <laughs> right? 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the one, <laughs> dude. I I think that's the one. I mean, it's hard to yeah. talk about because Quentin Tarantino is this. We, we've talked about. It. He's a weird thing with feet. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's the one. Yeah, because I I've seen. I saw this movie like ten years ago. It was yeah. fun. I really enjoyed it when it came out. I just never seen it since then. Um, I think it was uh, yeah. what's his name, Rodriguez. Um, oh my god, dude, Robert Rodriguez. Robert yeah. Rodriguez. Yeah, he directed it, and it's it's a fun movie, dude. I think you'd like it a lot, actually. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, he seems up my alley. Yeah. Uh, next, wait, I think we can that? agree. Get out. I can't even see. Oh, dude, S. Yeah, that's okay. probably our first. That's <laughs> yeah. probably our first. We. I don't think have we talked about Get Out. I don't think we have. No, do I've only seen the movie twice. But I mean, anybody that tries to say that that's anything short of a masterpiece, I just think that they're just trying to shit on something that's fun, good, original, mm. and well made. There's no way in hell that's not a masterpiece to you. You know what I, I mean? No, yeah, dude. Uh, I think it's so when I was watching the movie, like it was like halfway through or maybe two thirds through, like near the final act where I'm like, this is mm. fucking crazy. The, the first two yeah. thirds, I was kind of like, where? what is this? Like, I don't understand where it's going. But as soon as you see that, like him, I think she goes through her closet or whatever and starts like finding yeah. pictures. Yeah, and you're like, what the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it just, it's like it just what becomes the fuck moments. Yeah, it just becomes yeah. like a different movie. And, and I was like, this is fucking crazy. I think I saw it. I think shout out to Craig. I didn't see this when this came out in theaters because I the, the trailer kind of looked wonky to me. And Craig mm. uh, let me borrow his like digital copy. Let me like use his movies uh, anywhere, or whatever. So oh, I really? watched it. Yeah, and then I was like, dude, I was like, I, I, at, right after watching, I was like, I told my wife, you got to watch this movie. <laughs> then we, I watched it. <laughs> we got to watch. It. Yeah, we got to watch it's it. It's such a good movie, dude. Yeah. Oh my god! And the I performances is I always oh, butcher his last name, Daniel Kalula. I think that's, that's how you say name. it. Yeah, we were not. God, he's it. so good, and Dude, he has awesome. in there one of my favorite um, actors uh, acting right now, Lakeith Stanfield. He's the one that drops the tear. Oh with, yeah, yeah, with yeah. The, with he's the straw great. Hat. Yeah, yeah he was in. Um, in. He was in that. Uh, what's that movie? The political one that just came out. Something Judas or something like that. Uh, Book of Clarence. Book of Clarence. No. Oh, oh yeah. He, um, he was in Book of or not? Yeah, Book of Clarence, and he was also in the um, Judas and the Black Messiah. Judas and the Black Messiah. That that he did a great job in that movie, man. Fantastic. Yeah. He's great, dude. He must be hard to work with behind the scenes or something, dude, because dude doesn't get enough work, man. Yeah, He's I noticed crazy that. Crazy good. His, his movies are like every few years. I feel like I only spot him, yeah. you know, sparingly. So, but I mean, he, he's a great actor. Yeah. Yeah, no, shout yeah. out, get out. It's it's phenomenal. Yeah. I, everybody kills it. Shit, I haven't kill. watched that this month. I, I got to watch it this month before the month. Maybe out. I should. I, I haven't seen it. I still have never seen the 4K because I found it at um, a local thrift store slip for like four bucks, man. Somehow. Oh, shit, man. Like yeah, three it's, a, it's a really ago, solid transfer. Long. It's it's a, it's a good 4K. Maybe I'll rewatch all three of his because yeah, I want to get to that. Yeah. Have you seen Ginger Snaps? No, I have not. I was going to ask you, what the hell is that? I can't. <laughs> Dude, I girls. actually what is that? just watched it. For Holy the shit. Time. An A? Yeah, bro. Dude, <laughs> what? It's not everybody's cup of tea, man. And okay. I liked it way more than other people. And I'm so excited to check out the sequels, man. But it's basically, it's about these, I don't remember if they're sisters. I just watched it in September and I cannot believe I can't recall the details. Because it's just, there's like some... There's like a scene in that that's just so fucking gnarly and it's all I can think about right now. Um, but basically <laughs> like they're they have like this inner ability to be a lichen and stuff like that. This is their and second so, movie with lichens. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're in, there's two sequels, I believe, and both of them are in it. So Okay. Well, so I what mean, is this called Ginger Snaps? Ginger Snaps. It's a cult classic, man. It has a massive cult following behind it. Yeah, the company that did like my hoodie and the two that you've ordered. Yeah, um, Creeperama. They have a really nice orange one up right now, dude. That's like, ooh, I just don't want to drop seventy dollars on. It, bro. Uh, yeah, I know those things are. But expensive. I love it. Shout yeah, out to the just... to Creeperama, man. Uh, dude, yeah, for real. <laughs> those hoodies yeah, are my great. Midsummer. They're... They've done all yeah. of these right here. Almost every hoodie you see me wear is by them. They're great quality. Cannot recommend them enough. If you can stomach yeah. the price. This is this but looks yeah, interesting. interesting. Yeah, I would this looks really kind of interesting. check. It. I think it's just shy of two hours. It felt long. Um, but not in a bad way. Um, huh. but it was on Tubi, dude. So you could easily check it out super easily. Tubi, yeah, two thousand. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that. The, well, yeah, that's why. Because m remember, I was watching. Uh, that's whenever I got to Pandorum because I was doing two thousand horror movies oh, that I could okay. get a hold of. Yeah, and yeah, like you and I were talking about, I wanted to get to twenty eight days later, but you couldn't find it anywhere. Bro. Yeah, that's another one of I guess has weird streaming stuff. Dude, just, just like Video just Drum. Wasn't Video Drum like we couldn't find that anywhere? uh yeah you can't stream it yeah anymore. that's so weird what's this one gremlins 
Yeah, dude. I'm yeah, you. Gonna, I know. I know you're not gonna budge on that one. I know you love Gremlins. I, I think Gremlins is a fun movie. I'd probably put it like A or B tier. Like it's yeah. it's it's a really solid fun movie. Um, you had the chance. I think didn't you watch like a 35 millimeter print of it? I did. I did. Um, it did not look good. <laughs> I oh, don't right. know if it was the projector. <laughs> um, because you know, th- there's been a couple of films I've seen like Evil Dead and stuff, and it looks fine. It looks better than the. Um, it has like a nice good color grading. It just yeah. looked really off color wise. But again, mm. you know. Just because it looks off, that's the original film presentation. It's just off from what I'm used to. You know what I oh, mean? Okay. Um, just like and it the, wasn't like anything like with the film kind of aging or it could have been, man. It didn't. It, it just lacked color, and that's like okay. it's a dark, vibrant movie with a lot of contrast. Yeah, in, you know, and none of that was really popping for me. It was just okay. felt washed out. But yeah, Gremlins is in my top ten movies of all time. Um, depending on the month and Christmas, I'd shit, dude, I five. never knew it was your top ten. Yeah, dude. Holy I actually crap, made an man. official one. It didn't crack my top five because it, it's really hard. So, like, for people that cared, go Mad Max, which, by the way, my Requiem for the Dream poster finally came in after three and a half months. It just oh, got nice. Up. Go Mad Max, Fury Road, um, 2001, Requiem for a Dream, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then it's super interchangeable with Videodrome. Like, I really can't make up my mind for TCM or Videodrome. Mm. So it's just four and five. But then it's immediately Gremlins. But you could interchange any of those three at any moment. You know what I mean? Interesting. Like, I, just I had no idea videos. that it was, like, that highly regarded to you. I know you loved it. Oh, yeah. I love that movie, Because I know movie, you dude. talked about it quite a bit. And it, it's a fun movie, dude. I, I really enjoy Gremlins. It's it's super fun. I haven't watched it this month, actually. I need to. Um, I watched it yeah. in Christmas, dude. That's Christmas? a Christmas movie for me. Yeah, yeah. We're t- I think I remember you talking about like those weird horror movies that you just want to watch on like, Christmas, and that's one of yeah, them. Yeah, that is one of them. And also, fun fact: this is how big of a fan of Gremlins I am. I have the original Mogwai first ever produced toy on my Holy shelf over shit. there of a Mogwai. <laughs> yeah, that's bro. pretty dope. I found it at a um, here in where I live. They have this shop that specializes in only old toys. Uh-huh. And that's where I got the Austin Powers Barbie. I've shown you that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the yeah, same, yeah. same store? Yeah, so they were like, this was the first ever produced. It's not like number one or anything, but it was the first yeah. line of toys the first model that of they it. produced. And he's like, bro. And I, I spent I spent a little bit on it, man. Oh, man. Like, he said first. He does oh, it. I know okay. it's a lot when you don't want to say how much it costs. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't something I'd ever figured I'd pay for a doll. <laughs> oh, but crap. It, yeah, it's super interesting. Man. Yeah, I mean, I'll give you the A. I mean, it's a fun movie, and I know you're really passionate about it, so I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, I love it. Where are we at? Is this uh, Halloween? Halloween? That's a classic. Say S or a. I mean, that's a tough one. I'd say probably S. I mean, I think that it's uh, it's kind of like Friday the 13th. Oh, shit. We have, we have Friday the 13th as an A, and then <laughs> Halloween is an S. Yeah. I don't know. What, I what think do you Halloween think? Halloween is the better movie than Friday the 13th Part 1. It is. It's better executed. Better score. I think the ending is better in Friday the 13th Part 1, just because I really like the the Voorhees um, lineage. Yeah. I just don't think that's the best movie in its own franchise. You know what I mean? Like, Fair I mean, enough. Yeah, I'll catch exactly. flack for that, but people that have talked to me know I love Season of the Witch. That's a perfect movie to me. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I I can't dispute how great it is because without this, I wouldn't have Friday the Thirteenth. Mm-hmm. That's there's so a fair. lot of movies on here that we wouldn't have, you know. Yeah, that's definitely fair. Let's leave it as an S tier for now. This and one we then... might contest on because you don't mm-hmm. like Hellraiser, right? Oh, Hellraiser, dude! I fucking can't stand it. I think I'm in the minority <laughs> with it. I just, I just, I don't know what it is, dude. I've watched a few of them, and then I yeah. watched the most recent one that was on Hulu. I think that one's not good, man. I did not like. Yeah, that I didn't that like much. that. I mean, I, I, just, I liked it better than the original. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna get Bro, flack for that. I'm gonna get flack what? for it 100. percent I liked it better than the original. The original sucked, dude. Crazy. I was watching it. I'm like, what the fuck are people <laughs> like recommending to me? I can't stand Hellraiser. I, I put it. Fuck, man. I, I'd, I'd put it in F. I'd rather watch fucking Annabelle and Hellraiser. I'm going to get so much shit for that. I'm going to get so much crazy. shit for that. What, yeah. what did you watch, bro? You must have watched like this ain't Hellraiser triple <laughs> like some, X or like, something. Uh, some fan uh, made version yeah. of the movie. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude I, I, I that to me I is one of the greatest it. horror movies ever made, man. Really? I mean, yeah. I know people love it, dude. It's just, I don't know. I just couldn't vibe with it. I just can't. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's. <laughs> I, I I don't know. We'll put it in not seen. No, I mean you can average the score. I mean if I put it as an F and you say, in. would you put it as an A? Oh, it's just an S tier movie to me, bro. Oh, it's S tier. <laughs> then we got to be in the middle somewhere. We got to put. Yeah, it's just a C. I I can C. settle with that. 
Okay. Um, because I mean that's that one hurts me putting that there. <laughs> yeah, dude, because it it really it, it's the best slow burn of all time to me. And some people argue that it's not a slow burn. It sure as fuck is. Almost nothing happens the last ten minutes. You know, dude. Yeah, I mean um, it's not even the, the slow burn. Frank is great. I don't I don't even mind the slow burn. It's just kind of like it, it just felt super cheesy, poorly acted. Cinematography yeah. felt kind of cheap too. I just felt. I, I think I read a review with like, was it Roger Ebert or something like that? Like he just shit on that movie when it came out. I, I just wanted That's to make crazy. sure I wasn't the only one. I'm like, I can't be the only one that feels this way, but I know I'm going to get shit in the comments for it and on the discord. Probably as soon as this video is up, I don't you like Hellraiser. Validated. Yeah. <laughs> you need a, <laughs> needed <Roger>. validation. <laughs> it's not just me. No, everyone yeah, else not is not just wrong. me, man. Me and Roger Ebert versus the world. Yeah, there we go. This is one of your favorites, right? Oh, I love Hereditary, dude. I mean, except I the I, 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 yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't even argue as an A. The, the end, the last two minutes of that movie, I think, yeah, like, that's where you ruined and I it. Yeah, I yeah. think it just kind of ruined it. I, it brings it like a nine point five to me, but like, I, it, I leave yeah. it as an S tier just with how fucking original and how the tense. Score. The score is fucking crazy, dude. And I've never had a reaction the way and spoilers if you haven't seen it. I mean, hopefully you've seen it by now. But spoilers. I mean, when your fucking head's out the window and gets knocked out by the pole, oh, yeah, dude. I, mean, I don't think I've ever had a reaction like that in a horror movie. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's got a good shot amount of shock value in it. Yeah. Great fucking movie. Top tier for sure. Hostile. Also, I fucking despise this movie. I, I never liked it when it I mean, this was this came out like during the Saw era, kinda, I remember, and it was directed yeah. by Eli Roth, right? Fucking Eli Roth. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I, I really don't know what he was trying to do with that movie. And it, it just felt silly. It felt boring. It felt like and I was kind yeah. of excited for it because the trailers made it seem like it was kind of this over the top grotesque kind of thriller, and it's it's just really fucking cringe. <laughs> it kind of is man <laughs> the second one i will say is is i think i gave it one star so i mean i i'd settle with an f i don't know what you're thinking but I'm the second cool one's an way f. better i don't okay, like fuck, hostile yeah. whatsoever i, I don't i trash. don't like eli roth yeah i mean the, I, I think i think uh will and i had done that that thanksgiving i think that's his best movie that he's done in terms of a horror movie that i could recall I, i've never liked eli roth i can't think of a good movie he's done because i didn't like thanksgiving either oh yeah you said he was like yeah, yeah, you, I remember. yeah. I remember we gave it like a three. Out. I think we give it like a three and a half or a three. Oh, I, I give it a three. I thought you guys liked it more than that, but yeah, I gave it a three. I mean, that that to me is like good, but like, I don't know, man. For somebody that has such a love for horror, why can't you do better, dude? You know? I don't know what it is. <laughs> look, really look at Jordan don't. Peele. He loves horror. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he's a fucking comedian, dude. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hey, have you ever heard um, Jordan Peele talk about uh horror? Like, just this one quick thing that he said about it, where he said, like, honestly that comedy and horror isn't too far off that if you just like change the music in a comedy movie, it could be a horror movie. Like that's yeah. his take to, yeah, to making a lot of horror movies, which is interesting. Yeah. He also talks a lot about John Carpenter, dude. Oh yeah. He loves John, John Carpenter. I mean, he loves a lot and Hitchcock too. He's a huge Hitchcock fan. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, a huge, huge fan of that. Have you seen house of a thousand corpses? Ugh, dude, it's been forever since I fucking seen it, and I, I really, yeah, I don't know. I felt kind of mid with it. Yeah, I, I felt like a C. I was gonna say, I don't remember enough yeah. of it. You can put it I as can a settle B. with them. I, I was gonna say because I just think Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell are better than that. Like mm -hmm. Three from Hell and Devil's Rejects are A's for me. Okay, it's it's whatever. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of what's his face. Um, dude, I, I I'm fucking braid farting directors today. Who directed uh, House of a Thousand Corpses? Rob Rob Zombie, yeah. I'm just not a big Rob Zombie fan. I think we're going to get to House yep. of Wax here somewhere, too, and I wasn't feeling that one either. Oh, shit, did it's right do, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did he do next, that one or no? No, I don't think he did, man. Let That's me the see, Paris House. one. House of Wax, 2005. Oh, no, yeah. What the fuck am I thinking, dude? Yeah. No, I didn't like that movie. I thought it was super corny. House of Wax? Yeah, I didn't like it. Really? I think it's mm -hmm. one of the best remakes when it comes to really? horror in the middle of the 2000s. Yeah. Dude, I haven't seen it since it came out. Yeah. So no, <laughs> you're offering I, I up here nostalgia. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I can't comment on it. I'm just commenting on my uh, initial visceral reaction of it when it came out. <laughs> and I just wasn't a fan of it. I, I just, I, yeah, I just think like versus everything else we were getting, I, I could settle for a D if you didn't like it, but I was. No, I mean, put it as a C, dude. Yeah, put it as a C. Yeah. God, I mean, I have Hellraiser right Hellraiser. there. Yeah, I'm that's what I'm saying. At, at least let me <laughs> put it in front of at the top. Oh, God. And you haven't Fair seen enough. the original House on Haunted Hill, have you? 
I think I have. I not enough to comment on it, dude. Some of these I saw in like film class, like yeah, yeah, because I really bomb ass film class, and I actually saw a shitload of classic movies, but I don't remember it since then. So I just watched it about two weeks ago for the first time. It was one of my workout movies, Mm -hmm. and man, that movie fucking cooks, bro. I'd say it's a damn really good okay i was gonna say i, I, I love like i don't remember i was gonna say like a b or a b or c but I, I was gonna maybe go for a b black there's and white just is something great. like yeah when it comes to old horror movies they have this sense of charm i just think every movie not necessarily modern movies i'm not trying to say modern movies suck it's just like it just mm-hmm. has this special charm you know yeah. what i mean um like the low budget effects and stuff and how far they kind of made it stretch was awesome yeah um let's see insidious it's a, insidious i actually didn't hate insidious i thought it was really good i'd give it like a b yeah i don't think it's like a tier but i thought i thought it was i was i I guess like pleasantly impressed with it because i I went in with super low expectations yeah and i I think the little that's the one of the little red demon in the fucking ceiling right yeah yeah the worst jump scares of all time (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i know you yeah. hate jump scares and the, yeah, yeah that that i mean the fact that that i don't remember too much about the movie i remember the what is that place they go to the fucking uh, oh like the devil's playground or whatever it is. yeah whatever it is i mean i i love all that shit like that shit kind of looked like really really unique and different and, yeah. and that that demon just i mean even years later i remember what the fuck it looks like and i think that that says something you know what i mean so i'd say yeah. it's a fun movie I just respect the jump scare because, I mean, it's been a year since I've seen it. And last time I passively seen it or just watched it, it was passively. But mm-hmm. I don't remember the jump scare having really like a shrieky music to it. It's just it's actually well done and it actually makes you genuinely, you know. Yeah, I don't it. think it has the I could be wrong. I mean, someone can comment down below and correct this. But yeah. isn't it just like you just see it? Yeah, because it's like, yeah, it's this pan back and forth like you and I having a conversation. Yeah, they're starting to look like this. He's like, what? And it's just boom, boom, boom yeah, boom. You know, boom, and yeah, I thought that was it, excellently done. Yeah, and we we've talked about because Chase hate, hates fucking jump scares. They just think they're ruined movies. <laughs> but yeah, but that's they, a good I, one. I think that's a really well done jump scare because it's it's not like a loud noise to set you off. It's it, it's yeah. the, the cinematography and the way it's shot that that's what made you go like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, it made me jump, but I, yeah. I wouldn't even categorize it as a traditional jump scare because it doesn't have somber music then screeches at me and yeah especially if i'm silence that it shakes my yeah. seat <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah shout out insidious i, I mean yeah tiptoe it's through a, the two lips movie. Uh, what's yeah, this one here dude this. invasion of the body snatchers oh fuck dude it's been a while since i've seen that one is that I with um uh um, that Jason one right there's the one with leonard nimoy and i'm pretty sure donald pleasance is in that hold on maybe let me just make sure of the body snatchers I'm, i don't know if i'm thinking of a different movie john mccarthy i'm thinking of a different movie this is the super old one yeah 1956 yeah this i don't remember if i've seen this one. one you you might have to comment on this one i don't know if i if i've seen this it. one is the 1978 one. Oh, okay they've remade it five times so they even have Jesus a daniel Christ. craig remake man oh um, yeah i remember really i remember good. seeing that one that one sucked <laughs> there's not really much i have to add about it that i mean just be it's good be? it's, yeah, good. it's, it's good. a fun movie yeah it's solid um it follows oh man that one's i i really enjoyed that movie i think more than most i know some i, I don't know if you put it as a b i might even put it as an a i'd say i thought b, it was because i think b? it got overhyped for me man was it i yeah i just watched it earlier this year for the first time oh really yeah, and I saw it a few it, years you back. It, you love it. You love it. I, I think it's one of those again, dude, where it's like it was such a unique concept and it came out years back. And I mean, since then, we've had so many unique concepts. But I think what did it for me, man, was um, what's her face? Uh, Monroe is her name, right? Micah, uh, Micah Monroe from Long. Micah Lake, Monroe. Yeah. I think that her performance in that movie is fucking fantastic. Um, like I, I, I'm cool putting it as a B. I, I think it's, it's fair to put it as a B. I, I might even put it as an A, but it, they're making a sequel, I think, right? Yes, it got. Which I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're gonna do for a sequel, but um, yeah, it's 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 a cool little movie. Yeah, it's a good idea. I think you and I have contested this before, right? Which one? It. Yeah. Yeah, I was not a big. Yeah, because I said you were shocked when I said I wasn't a fan of it. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. This is the the remakes. This is not the television one, right? This is the film. The the yeah. I'd say instead of the yeah, because that one we can actually use that one. That's going to be for the um the new duology. Yeah, I mean, the new one, I think we it was a, a podcast tour ago where I mentioned that it just wasn't, it was just too much of a slow burn, dude. I didn't feel like there was enough 
thrills and suspense. It was just such a slow burn. And you know, I love slow burns. Like I don't mind a movie yeah. taking its time, but I was like, I'm genuinely bored and I don't give a shit about these kids. Yeah. I, I really know, do. I just love something about it, man. I mean, uh, the, the Pennywise is great. Don't get me wrong. I think that's, yeah, he's, that's crazy. he's so fucking good. He's, he's outstanding. And I think honestly, that's the saving grace for that movie for me. Like it's not, it's not horrible. I'd probably yeah. give it, I I I know you'd probably give it like an S or an A, right? I give it an A. An A. I'd, I'd probably give it like a C or a B, but it, we. Yeah, we I think it B would a B. be fair. Yeah. The next Jaws. Oh, dude, that's a classic to me. I, I mean, that's kind of weird. I don't know if I'd put it as a horror movie. I mean, it is kind of like horror in a way, but yeah, it's it not. But yeah, but oh shit, I, what are you putting it at? Oh, I was just moving it up. because Oh, you know, I was like, did you just put it at a C? Yeah. I'm like, no way, dude. To no. me, that's like a perfect movie. I honestly think that's a yes. perfect movie. Yeah, I think it's an S. I think it's. it's I can't argue that. Um, I think it just yeah. changed the landscape of fucking movies in general, especially like yeah. even because that movie's scary, but it's also like I, I, I see it more as like an action movie. Also, um, mm. I think it just kind of changed the landscape of like action movies and the, the fucking effects in that movie are fucking incredible. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. They're outstanding. Yeah, I like the movie a ton, man. I, I, I would say an A, just on my personal mm-hmm. note. But I mean, I can't, I don't argue when people say it's like a perfect movie. I just, there's people that watch that movie like four or five times a year. And it's oh, like, yeah. dude, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I watch it like, I think like once or, yeah, once a year, once or twice a year. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, it, it's very slow, but the dialogue's good and stuff. There's just movies I'd rather rewatch than that. Yeah. But I mean, I can, I totally understand the love for it. Totally yeah. understand it. Killer Clowns. You haven't seen this, right? No, I have not seen Killer Clowns. Well, I've heard a lot yeah. about it. Where are we putting I think, it? I think it's oh. one of the greatest B-movies ever made, man. Holy shit. Okay. Yep. I gotta yeah, watch man. it Yeah, it, it was crazy. I'm so happy that this movie is getting so much love nowadays because like, over like the last, I'd say, five, eight years, I've seen this huge resurgence, just like with Season of the Witch, where a lot of these B-movies are like underappreciated ones. Yeah. That's a movie I grew up with, man. Like, That's awesome. I just loved that movie. It's not great by any means. It's just so unique in what it does. Like instead of being cocooned on a ship into like this web or in a capsule, you're put into like a cotton candy cocoon and they have like these. So the, the clowns have these dogs to find their people, but they're little balloon dogs on these leashes. (laughs) (laughs) It's just so corny. It's just fun, man. Like it's it's like, it sounds like it's one of the, one of those movies that it's like exactly what the director intended it to be. Yeah. He knew what he was doing, bro. Yeah. He knew it. He knew it. And this next one is oh, a maniac cool. cop. That's with Bruce Campbell. You have you seen that? Bruce Campbell. Man. No, I don't think I've seen this one. So I'm going to put it in C. Um, mm-hmm. It's really good for what it is. It's just the second one is insane. The practical effects in those movies are absolutely bonkers. Mm. Um, I just think that like the the second one's probably an A. It's just even on wait, its own. It's what year was that one? I want to say late 80s, early 90s. There's three of them uh okay mm-hmm. yeah but shout out that the whole trilogy is really really fun check it out if you haven't seen it um and this one is all you because we talked about it before but that one is yeah. let the right one in let the right one in i i mean this one that's a i think it came out like the original one because there was a remake which i didn't i don't think i liked that matt much reeves. I think the, was yeah. it matt reeves yeah i yeah. i maybe i gotta watch it again but the the 2008 swedish one was really solid yeah that's um, this one yeah yeah and it and it, and it kind of like i i liked it a lot because it, it just kind of focuses more on the on the two main characters kind of developing like this rapport and this relationship is these two kids um and it kind of breaks a lot i don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it um yeah, but it it's it, it there, there's some vampire stuff going on in it um mm-hmm. it, but it, it really it, that isn't the movie you know what i mean like it, it really focuses on these two kids um and it's yeah. it's it's really really well made i'd probably put it as a i don't know if i want it. let's put it as a b for now b b i, I want to say a but i don't know if i'd put it as an a because it, it, it's a great movie but it's not one that i'm like you know itching to watch all the time yeah that's super fair and you've definitely seen misery right no i have not there, there's no misery. fucking way you yeah, haven't, seen, haven't misery, seen misery, bro. No. Holy shit, dude. This sounds like it's an A. Yeah, dude. It's uh, it's an A. It's got Kathy Bates, and I forget the guy that's in there. But man, holy shit, what a movie, man. 
Because, like, at first I was kind of bored. I was like, man, this movie is hyped. It's like a horror icon. It's, it's much more of a thriller, I'd say, than it is horror, but it has horrific moments in it. Mm-hmm. It's just, man, that movie just takes some turns, and, like, Kathy Bates in that movie is just incredible. Like, that's a great movie right there. Damn, so it's an A? I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, make note of all the ones that you're... You're yeah, definitely notating. check some of these out. Misery, you would love, bro. I think that might be a four and a half, five star movie for you. Really? Holy yeah, shit! I can't believe you haven't seen that. It's a Stephen King adaptation. Holy crap! Now I'm, I might maybe watch it this week if it's yeah. streaming somewhere. If it doesn't have weird streaming fucking shit going on. Yeah, Misery. and shout out the 4K for that. The 4K looks outstanding. I got You've definitely out. never seen Nightbreed, bro. No, I don't. I'm looking at that poster, I don't know what the fuck it is. So it's um it's one of David Cronenberg's first acting roles. He plays like an evil doctor, mm. and that's a Clive Barker directed written movie. Um, and basically you have like these night breeds and stuff like that that are just doing their thing, yada yada yada. David Cronenberg is this evil messiah. Um, there's some people that love that movie. There's some people that just think that's like one of the worst movies that they've seen. Um, mm-hmm. I I think it's super fun and it has great practical effects. So okay, uh, that's how I feel about that one. That sounds like fun, dude. The Which one is that? Night is that of Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead? I know you said you like that one better than Dawn of the Dead. I just think it's a, it's just a classic, man. You know what I mean? I, I'd put it in A tier. I, I, I think I like Dawn of the Dead a little bit better, but I'd still put it as an A tier movie. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it definitely doesn't age well. Like if I were to show some of my five horror movies, even though I think that one is like one of the greatest ever made, mm-hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't show them it. They might get checked yeah. out because of how slow it is and how aged it is. I'd probably show them Dawn or Day, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's a classic. Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, I think, oh, is that the next one? Nightmare on Elm Street? Oh yeah. Whatever you have to say about Night of the Living Dead though. No, I was just saying it's just a, it's just a classic movie. It's really well done, but it's a, a lot of these movies that we talk about, they're just kind of products of their time. And I think yeah. that sometimes it's hard viewing them, you know, as something outside of that. Um, yeah. And even Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, I don't know how we haven't really talked about Nightmare on Elm Street. You and I. I, I mm-hmm. mean, I I think it's a it's a solid B movie. I like it. It's fun. It's it's not like crazy to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's others I like more in the franchise. I I really think that you said B. Yeah, I'd give it a B. I don't know what you think about. I agree. That. I mean, I <clears throat> I think those movies are hard ass carried by Robert England. Oh, um, for sure. I just rewatched them. I uh, finished that rewatch last week. Yeah, uh, the week before last. Did you and, watch the new 4K? Yeah, so I watched that, and I watched all the sequels, and all of them are so bad except the second one. The second one gets a lot of hate, but then the third one gets a lot of love. That one is so bad. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the sequels, dude. I always kind of revert yeah. to the original just because it's like my safe space, but yeah, I know some of the sequels get kind of fucking ridiculous and over the top. New Nightmare is one of the best horror movies ever to me, man. Is that four? I don't know. No, that's the four? that's the very last one before the reboot. Oh, West really? Craven came back. Yeah, well, it's it's meta, so it follows mm. um, Heather Longenkamp. It follows actual Heather Longenkamp and Robert oh, England fuck. and Wes Craven around because like things from the Nightmare on Elm Street movie start coming into reality, and that's what it is. It's I like think I first, remember seeing yeah. it on TV. I, I think I yeah. remember. Yeah, it's just like very self aware, like you said, meta. Yeah, I, I don't like remember enough about screen. it. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, so Nightmare's good. fun, man. And then what about no, no Nosferatu, Spazio? dude? That's like a film school days. It's been a while, but I'd probably put it as an A. I, th- I think an it's a? an A or an it's S. An I mean, S I, yeah, is an S to you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's just a very well shot fucking movie for for its time. It's unnerving too. Yeah, like some of the shots are actually like, Ooh. yeah, you know? and it's it's fucking it, it's some of the imagery too that just I mean, there's so many classic shots in that movie. You know what I mean? And yeah. shout out to that Creepo Rama hoodie too that I missed out on for Nosferatu because I really oh, wanted dude, it. So nice. Did you get it? Yeah. No. Oh, uh, I wanted I so it, but I just bought hoodies. the Alien one, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, this like another one's gonna be like a hundred twenty dollar order," and I'm like, I, "I just can't do that." <laughs> dude, their designs are so nice, and their yeah. quality is so good. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have to layer up. This is like yeah. all I have. This and a tank top, and I can go out into the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and good quality. Oh, uh, dude, so but yeah, no, Nosferatu is a, a classic, link. dude. Definitely a yeah. movie. Orphan. Orphan? I'd, say B. Movies, dude. I'd say it's a B movie. I mean, the yeah. thing that makes that movie, honestly, is the fucking twist. Because the yeah, whole time you're exactly. like, where is this fucking movie going? And as soon as you learn the twist, it's either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. Yeah, you're like, oh, turn it yeah. off after that. Yeah. I had fun with the twist. I thought the sequel's better, though. We were talking about yeah. the sequel. Um, What was it called? The uh, one? First Kill. First Kill. I, I actually liked the sequel a lot more than the original. Yeah, I agree. The sequel's actually really well made. 
and uh, Paranormal Activity. Par- you love that movie. I love that movie, dude. I think it was one of those movies that um, I think it's overseen, overlooked a lot now, but I think it was just kind of back to basic scares. Like it wasn't even a lot of. I mean, there are jump scares in it, but I think it's just kind of just well done for the budget and and what they did. And it, I was frightened when I saw it, but I mean, all the sequels yeah. are garbage and they're trash. So um, yeah. I, for that reason, I kind of maybe want to put it as a B. I don't know uh, what you think I, about it. Yeah, don't you? Do you like Paranormal Activity I, or no? I. I mean, it's fine, <laughs> you know, like it's just when something gets hyped up as being like the scariest thing ever, especially that was like, it's such definitely a not on when it came out, you Dude, know, like, yeah, well, I saw it. I think I told you the story. I saw it like a few months yeah. before it came out at one of those whatever screenings like they were doing. Yeah. And, and I was like, holy shit, this movie's fucking crazy. But but I think people I agree with you. They did hype it up where they're like, this is the scariest movie at all time. I'm like, I don't I don't know about that, <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's it's a it's a solid movie to me. I think it's well done. Yeah. Yeah, I could uh, agree more. Um, Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. Man, I, I haven't I fucking seen like Pet Cemetery. You, you don't haven't? like either of them? No, I haven't I seen like it. Either of them, man. I think they're both the new yeah. one. I just think as a series, they're just it's just kind of boring. It's just boring. It's I mean, like, honestly, dude, the, the, that many shit. people were hyped about the second one when it came, or the 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 remake when it came out. Like, I yeah, mean, it was getting a, some big amount of fans, man. Does Maybe it? I need to give it I a mean, second. I haven't seen them in like. They, uh, so they came out like a 4K two pack in like 2018, yeah. 19, whenever the remake came out. That's yeah. when I last saw them. I was like, oh okay. yeah, same thing. Everybody loved them. I didn't hear bad things about the remake, and then I watched both. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is what Stephen King. Like. It, it some of it is the source material too. Like I feel like I really enjoy some of Stephen King's work. Like some of it is fantastic, yeah. but some of it is just like a joke to me. Like yeah. it's either hit or miss. Yeah. So some of his stuff definitely seems drug fueled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's Bring just like, dude, what days. did you mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like, dude, what were you doing? Yeah. I that's one of guarantee them. you haven't seen Phantasm, bro. Phantasm. I hold on. Let me talk about it real quick and I'll I'll double. So check th- that's the one where you have the tall man. You have this kid that's going around in this uh like crypt keeper essentially of this like mortarium or whatever it is. And he no, has like this sphere. I don't think I've seen it. It's the sphere cool, looks man. interesting and, and familiar, it's but I don't cool. think I've seen it. Is it? It's pretty. There's solid? like six of them. None of them are bad. They're, they're really? all. They're literally all Don Corsa Kelly, I believe is his name. They're okay. all written and directed by him. Last I remember, I could be wrong. There might be one or Shit. two here or there, but I'm pretty sure he's done all of them. Where'd you put so it? Because really I was cool. looking it up and I didn't see where you ranked it at. A B. Oh, okay, a B. Yeah, like a really strong B. Okay. I, I wouldn't be opposed to somebody putting it as an A. I'd be like, yeah. I'm pretty Makes sure we sense. don't have to talk about Psycho, right? That's an S. <laughs> yeah. Definitely an S. 100%. Yeah, I I, I'd even move it higher. I mean, I don't think we're going to have time to move the tiers around, like, within the tiers. They're, but I'd, They're solid. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably put it a little higher. My alarm's going off. We're, we definitely didn't make the hour, but we'll keep trucking along. Pumpkin we're starting to get into the speed run stuff, because we got yeah. nothing but, like, icons left. Yeah. Um, Pumpkin Pumpkin Head. Head. Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. It's it's a fun movie to me. That I think B. we're talking about. It. It's like very yeah, B movie, kind of traditional yeah. Halloween esque. It's it's fun. The practical effects are really cool. Yeah, I think it's a a solid B man. It's really. I know fun. Will practical loves it. I think Will good. probably give yeah. it like an A. Yeah. You think a B's good? Yeah, I think B's. I think it's fair. And what about this... Reanimator? I don't think I've seen that. Reanimator. It's really good. Is it? Yeah, so it's a Stuart Gordon movie about a guy that like can basically inject like this like activator into you and like bring you back to life. Not necessarily zombie ish, but kinda. Okay. Um, he's like this mad scientist, and there's like three or four of them. They're really fun. Um, I really really enjoy them. Uh, really Risky. really really solid. Yeah, really really solid. Um, definitely not A, but I I'd say that that one right would get like an eight point five for me. Just like okay. a fan so high B. Yeah, high B. You've definitely Wreck. seen Wreck, right? Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it, dude. It's it was, a B for sure. It's a solid movie. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's kind of like Paranormal Activity in a way. I like Paranormal Activity better, but Wreck mm-hmm. was a fun movie. It's it's yeah. nothing to write home about, but it's it's I've seen it once or twice. Yeah, the sequels go crazy. I've never well. seen the sequels for it though, dude. They get crazy. Really? Yeah. Like, but it, like out. crazy good or like crazy like. I don't. Just... Th- you might like it. It gets a little bit campier and a little bit more. Uh unrealistic to a degree yeah um but yeah they're fun i'd say b what would you say c or b mm, i'd give it a b just to be fair i mean i'll put it right under like paranormal activity they're kind of the same thing almost i mean they're different movies obviously but same era of movies so to speak yeah um no, i can totally see that. Is, that is that rosemary's baby yeah i'd say a you really i'm shocked 
Yeah, I, I think, think the ending's really, really well. The acting is just phenomenal. I like the disc looks fantastic, by the way, because I saw it yeah. a few months ago for the first time, the 4K, and it, and it looks fantastic. It, it's one of those movies I, I like it. I respect it for what it is. I, I, like to me, it's like a high B. It just never hit that that mark for me of like a like a classic A movie when I first saw yeah. it. So, I mean, I'd you can put it as an A because I, I totally see why it's an A. Yeah, I'd say an A. We need to show A a little bit more love, too. So let's go ahead and put yeah. something there to fill the gaps. You've seen Salem's Lot, right? Dude, it's been forever. I haven't seen the new one that you guys just watched. Uh, but, I mean, the, oh, that the old good. Salem's Lot. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's Toe been Cooper a one. long time. Yeah. It's an I mean, A it's, for me, man. I think that movie is so fucking good. You put it as man. an A. I think I just, for a three-hour movie to keep me invested like that. Yeah. The effects, everything. It's still so creepy to this day. Um. Oh, okay. Now we're on to Saw. What would you use? S? Uh, high A or S? I put it as a high A. I don't, I don't think I want to put Saw in the same tier as fucking Psycho. <laughs> Gremlins, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, scanners, I think I think you got to do this one, dude. Hey, believe it or not, that's a high B for me when it comes mm. to one of Cronenberg's. Um, wow. Like, ranking it against some of his other stuff, it's definitely up yeah. there. Um, I've seen this movie... Shit. I've seen it eight times this year because I was really trying to Shit. find some things out. I think I told you about that. Like I wanted to do mm -hmm. those dissecting Cronenberg yeah, movies like, or videos something? for the channel. Um, and that was going to be my first target one. So it didn't grow on me at all. <laughs> I was okay. just kept trying to find for like a hidden message. Yeah. I think the sequels are just as fun, but I mean, it's great for what it is for sure. Okay. B. Definitely. And scream. scream. Uh, that's definitely a, like A or S tier for me personally, just because I, uh, but it, some yes. of it is, yeah, it's a lot of it is most emotional nostalgia, but I think it's just a well executed movie. It's great. Like you said with the Wes Craven kind of meta self awareness and the kind of, you know, film trivia shit. Like it's just something that really resonated with me. So I, I love Scream. Yeah. Yeah. I totally understand them on that one. Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. It's been a, dude, no, I haven't I seen it since it that. came out. You haven't no, seen it? Was like eight, no, I've seen it, but yeah, dude, I saw it when it came ago. out. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I walked out like a C. I think it was like, kind of like, I'd say. It, it wasn't like, you can, you I can't remember it for video game <laughs> adaptations though. Like it wasn't horrible. I think that's yeah. what I remember. Like it was a pretty solid movie, but yeah, it wasn't, I, I can't remember most of it. Some of the effects were cool. I remember those big, uh, what are those big fucking triangle head things or whatever. Oh, Pyramid Head? Yeah, the Pyramid Head thing. I think that yeah. the, they did those really well. But yeah, just like a C movie. Yeah, that's totally fair. Is that a... Sleepy what, Hollow. You take Sleepy that Hollow. Um, it's a B movie, dude. It's a really... It's it's fun. It's a, it's a high B to me. I, I, like, I, I've watched it so many times. I mean, the ending is just so quirky and kind of cheesy, though. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, it, I honestly think the ending is kind of like... It ruins the movie a little bit, but it's such a fun ride to the ending. That it's totally forgivable, and I'm surprised you haven't watched it, man. Like I really thought it that seems up my it. alley. Everything everybody's like ever it. said about it, yeah. Super. I mean, that's a very, very Tim Burton kind of horror movie. And if you if you're down for that, I think I think you'll like it. Yeah, yeah you I need to check that out. That's an S. Area. That's an S. Top tier. Oh, yeah, that's an S, bro. Put it up there, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah, Suspiria. Don't need to say shit about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I need to go buy the 4K disc and try and yeah. tell me I'm wrong, I have yet to have somebody tell me I'm wrong. It's one of the best. It probably is the it's best a, disc out there. It's a great movie. Jesus. While it might not have the strong structural narrative, mm -hmm. neither does Jaws. Neither does Relay yeah. Ones. Neither does Halloween. You know, and we no, but they they have an impact, and it sounds like that so one had fun. definitely an impact. Yeah, yeah, so fun. We'll leave. That I know you there. and I are way bigger fans than most people of this one. You and I, <laughs> yeah, it, which. So me over the past like two or three months i talked to some people about it and they're like yeah it's cool and i'm like i yeah, really like, thought it mean? was like fantastic yeah. dude. i thought it was like probably s tier or a tier for me I, I, I wouldn't argue s tier man i think it's one of the best it's up there like not necessarily up there with hereditary you know what i mean we would yeah put, if we, put hereditary hereditary. S, we gotta put babadook up there bro yeah i think that's they're fair. like side by side as two of the most influential movies of the 2010s for horror. i don't think you'd have hereditary without babadook they're almost very similar yeah, for sure. They, they, it's just this kind of dread that kind of, you know, pro, like it, it's prolonged dread throughout the whole movie. Um, yeah. And I think it started that whole, I don't know, if you want to call it elevated horrors, what people call it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Baba Duke is killer, dude. I, I don't know why mean? people don't like it. I don't know. I think they just made it up. I don't <laughs> yeah, think I, I could be I wrong. I think it's tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just a made up word that they use for the movie. 
because uh, I, I could I was be scrolling wrong on Tubi, and there's yeah. like at the very bottom of the section it has terror on Tubi, and it said subtext elevated horror. So I clicked on it. I was like, this doesn't tell me what it what elevated horror is. It's just a bunch of horror movies. So what elevated is that? horror? I think it's just like it has like like actual narrative and plot and structure that's like in character development and shit. Like that's what elevated fair. horror is. I think that's what. It's, yeah. You know, that's my guess for it. That's fair. Oh, this movie, The Birds, dude. I don't oh, like. I think it's one of really? the worst. I think Holy it's one of shit! Worst, I mean, I I think, I think it's so boring. It's, it's two hours long. <laughs> it's I I really like. Let me say this. I really like it. I don't think it's like. I, I don't think it's as scary or as as highly regarded as people say it is. I think it's like it's a, not. Yeah. I think it's a B. He's made so many better movies than The Birds, but I I'd, I'd put Bird. it as a B. I I really like it. It's not, but. Yeah, I really think it's his one of there's probably one, one of his other worst one. ones. He, Damn, dude. Um, most of his movies for me are like four and a half and fives. Yeah, like there's this the one called Trouble with Harry it. that I loved. Marnie mm-hmm. is super fun. Um, Family Plot. Oh, my God. I gave that five stars. That movie is so much fun. Yeah, and I saw that with the crowd. That movie was so cool. Um, but birds, I remember going through, I was like, well, this movie just fucking in. <laughs> it was so boring. Well, it's not even that scary. You know what I mean? The concept's just so like yeah. out there, but it's, it's, it's not horrible. I mean, with me, with Hitchcock, it's like, even if it's bad, it's still solid. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's totally understandable. And you might have to take the reins on this. I don't think this you... movie's as good as people say for Blair Witch Project. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I get torn on this one, dude. I'd yeah, I B was going to say a. But I move oh, it to really? B. We could we can put it yeah. as a B. I I think it's just it's just it's it's hard to describe it, right? It's it's just kind of like this. They're lost for the whole fucking movie. But it, but the yeah. the conflict when they're lost and just like it's it's kind of the dread that we talked about with some of the other movies in, in the S tier, where it's just like this kind of prolonged dread throughout the movie and this conflict between them and and the the final kind of thing with you know them standing in the corner was kind of creepy. But it, it was overhyped <laughs> at the time of like being like, this is like one of the fucking scariest yeah. movies you're ever going to see. And I remember seeing yeah. it. I'm like, it's good, but it's not it's not the yeah. scariest movie I've ever seen. Yeah, I just found it super corny. I didn't get to it, but to like five, eight, five, six years ago, mm. and I was really trying to go through a lot of the classics. And I was like, yeah. that's it. The new one wasn't terrible. I, I mean, I think the they're one. both. Yeah, I, I didn't. Think I didn't it like it. Absolutely. That one's by Adam Wingard, if I remember right. Um, I don't recall absolutely hating it to any degree. Um, have you seen the original Blob? Blob no, Will was telling me about it. I think when we were we were talking like two podcasts ago about it, and he recommended. It. I, I like the 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 concept of it. It sounds really cool, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I say Upper B. Upper B. Yeah, yeah check that out. And that's the poster for the new one, right? Uh, well, yeah, the new one, not the original. Yeah. One. Um, the one with Shawnee Smith from um, Saw Two, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah, that one's super fun. Cabin um, in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods is great. I, I like it. I think it's say B or A. Yeah, to it's, me, it's, it's an more a, of a fun movie. B. Yeah, it's just a fun movie. I, I, it's not anything like crazy that I'm going to write home about. Same thing with like, I, I don't know what you think about Conjuring. Because now we're like a Conjuring. I know we're like speed running some of this stuff. But like Conjuring was like, it was a solid movie when it came out. Yeah. Yeah, a B I think is perfect for Conjuring. Some people still regard that that I talked to as like being one of their absolute favorites. And it's like, yeah. I've only seen it once. I probably should revisit. It I've seen sure. it a few times. I really like it. I've seen it multiple times, and I think it's a really, really fun movie. To me, it's like a high, high B for sure. Um, I've, yeah, I'd never get bored with it. But yeah, what are we at right there? What's that one? The crow. I don't the know why the fuck the crow's on. Yeah, here. why is that on here? I don't um, know. But regardless, do we want to rate it? Yeah, I mean, it's a really good movie. I mean, I would you say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like an action movie. <laughs> mean? Like, I don't know. It's like putting fuck. Terminator on here. Yeah, it's you like it's kind of I mean? weird. I mean, it's uh, yeah, I mean, and it sounds like you guys hated the remake. I didn't see it after your guys's. Is... Oh, I actually uh, thought it was okay. Really? Will didn't like it. I thought it was okay. I'm I heard multiple people saying it's it's not that good, but my expectations yeah. were non-existent, so I feel like whenever you walk up to things with zero expectations, you kind of I agree with you 100% with that. Yes, because yeah. that's uh, a lot of movies I've done that with, and I come out like pleasantly surprised, but yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. But we'll, we'll, I don't know why that's on the list. Um, Descent. what is that one, dude? Oh, Descent. Descent. You and I were just talking about that, I think, a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, because I had just uh, watched it for the first time. Yeah, dude, I, I really liked that movie. I, I honestly put it, yeah, it as an A. I, it yeah, was, I, I was uh who who i forgot who uh, recommended that movie to me but um 
I don't know if it was Craig or someone else, but yeah, I popped it, it on. It was Noah because you told it me. It was Noah. It. Yeah, it was Noah. Yeah, he he. I was just late at night, like going through movies, and I'm like, I and I said, Descendant. He's like, Watch it right now, and I watched it. And I'm like, Dude, this is fucking crazy. It's so yeah. well made. The claustrophobia really well and the practical effects are fucking fantastic. Yeah. No, I agree. It, it was. I need to watch the second one because I know it directly continues off of that. But had a mm-hmm. great time. Yeah. Fantastic time. Super fun. Movie. Evil Dead One. Oh, do the S tier. S tier. Yeah, I'd put it as S tier. I really, I know you guys like uh, Evil Dead Two more. Is I don't know, I'm surprised. Will it's not likes on here, two more. I like 2013 the best. 2013. I can see why 2013 is the best. I I think there's something there's just like emotional nostalgia for the original. And you guys did that yeah. Evil Dead video, and I wasn't a part of it, but uh, the the original just has this nostalgia for me. Just kind of like you know mm-hmm. the camera and everything like that. I mean, obviously they use they utilize that in all the sequels, but it's just it's I think I think it's so well done for the budget and and the constraints that they had but i could totally see like you know 2013 being the best one or even two yeah yeah i i they're like me. all different flavors of ice cream so i could see that yeah for literally they're any so of them. different you just yeah, even rice. talk about oh, exorcist yeah. s tier for me 100 percent. yeah um okay. the fly you that? seen it right no i have not seen the fly remember oh my God. i think you had challenged me to watch it it's the best romance movie that you've never heard of, man. Because it literally mm. is about that. It's 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 a it's holy a shit S tier. Yeah, dude, it's a romance movie disguised as a horror movie, man. Mm. It's one of the most like uh, somebody in the Discord was just watching it the other day. Now playing because you guys keep talking about it. Two hours later, it comes back. Holy shit! You didn't tell me I was gonna get emotionally gutted at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yeah, dude, it's fucking sad. <laughs> shit, dude. What year was yeah. that one? Eighty. 80- Two eighty? No, I just looked up eighty six. Eighty six, yeah, yeah, right. That, that's like one. Is that one of your favorite Cronenberg movies? Or oh yeah, it's one of the best. I think uh, overall, it's one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> but Video Drum's your top one, right? Yeah, Video Drum. Like when it comes to like what is actually the greatest versus my mm-hmm. favorite, I have two different rankings. But I, mm-hmm. I'd say The Fly is probably his magnum opus. Oh okay, shit. Yeah, great performances by Gina Davis. Great performances by um, Jeff Goldblum. The practical effects are fucking insane and the story is just good it's just really mm. really good and i really don't think it would have worked without jeff goldblum and his quirkiness because it just really works you know yeah i definitely yeah. recommend checking it out it's, it's on so max oh is it on max or no it's fox title fuck yeah where is it streaming dude i mean cronenberg's movies are, are tough to stream too because they <laughs> were, were talking about it out of canada oh uh, shit man yeah because you told mm-hmm. me to watch video drum and i'm like i didn't fucking know where to watch it at <laughs> it's not streaming anywhere yeah uh but yeah shout out the fly um i i really think that i mean there's eastern provinces in the history of violence that i could see the argument for being better but as a whole mm-hmm. as like a romance movie i think that's one of the best romance movies ever made hmm. sweet the grudge, grudge. I is actually this the japanese one or the english week? one um we can do either or uh, I, that I mean, one doesn't say that's... jew on so yeah that american Let's go American. I mean, the grudge. I think it was kind of overhyped when it came out. I think I'd, I'd say like D a, or C, man. Yeah, I think it like a. You could put it as a D. I don't think it wasn't that scary to me. The imagery is cool. Yeah. I think the imagery it looks really, really good, but it's just not scary. It's scary. It's just not well executed. Yeah, the 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 Japanese one. I, there were some things I liked that it did better because it felt more organic than the Japanese one. But the Japanese one was much better put together, even though it felt almost like a shot for shot remake. You yeah. just had these weird parts in the American one that didn't work for me. Yeah, I agree. We can leave it. Well, at, yeah, I give it a three D. and a half. Um, What's that one, dude? Oh, the, the fog. fog. I haven't seen that one in a while. I would put it as a as a B. Yeah, B's perfect. Yeah, Bills have eyes, bro. I think that's Wes Craven's worst fucking movie, dude. I just think all yeah. of them are bad. The remake, this one. Yeah, two, I'm not a big fan of them. of them. My wife wants to watch it again. She really likes the Hills Have Eyes. I. I I don't know. I'd probably give it like a C or a D. I mean, C. like if you want to give it a D, yeah, you D. can give it a D. Yeah, That's D, fine. bro. D for I so fun movie. fact. I haven't seen Human Centipede at all. I mean, I, oh, I really I don't feel like I need to see. It. I mean, I already know what it's about. It's just shock value. It's not even like a <laughs> yeah. well-made movie. You're just like okay. You're just watching like a line of people give each other rim jobs. That's basically yeah. what it is. <laughs> like, there's no story. I'll, really I'll it tries to gladly pass on that one. We're, <laughs> we're good. I believe um, it or not, I have not seen Last House on the Left, the original I, horror remake. I don't think so either, dude. We're we're gonna get shamed on that. Yeah, <laughs> in the I comments just for that one. To it, 
It yeah. seems like something up my alley. Dude, I know I'm in the minority of this. Oh yeah, we've no, we talked about we were about we, were, we were talking just about yeah week. the uh, about the mist right about like yeah. just how that ending just fucking stabs you in the fucking heart. Yeah. Um, I I I know you want to put it as like an A, don't you? A or S? I think it's one of the I, I I'd say A because there's some things in the supermarket scenes that don't work for me. So I'd say yeah, a. I'd say A is fair. I think it's really yeah. well done, and that that ending is hit or miss with people. Um, yeah. original Omen, right? Yeah. I'd say a high B. Yeah, I was going to say maybe B. even A. I'd say it's it's a really well-made movie. Yeah. I like it. It's just one of those movies that I feel like there's people that like it a lot more than I did. Kind of like Rosemary's Baby in a way. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a solid movie. It's really well-made. We gave we gave a lot in the B, but at least Dude, it's B's, to get evenly distributed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Uh, people people under the stairs. I think that's Wes Craven's best movie. I don't think I've seen that one. It's really know. campy, but it's really fun. It's just about like, long story short, uh, kid moves in and stuff like that, and like there's this this weird thing with his neighbors going on. So he kind of breaks in to try to see what's going on, and he mm-hmm. finds out they're like into some really really weird shit. Okay. And he kind of gets trapped in like this maze of a house and stuff. And while it's not a perfect movie, it's my favorite one, and I would personally put it in A. But I'm gonna mm-hmm. realistically give it like a official grading of about B, 85 to 90 percent. It's That's it's right. my favorite, and I think it's probably his best because it's really unique aside from Scream. That's um, but it's really fun. And speaking of on the polar opposite, I think this is one of Hooper's oh, most overrated Walter, guys. Movies. You've you've talked about it. <laughs> yeah. you, I think we've yeah. I, I don't remember when. I think it was a month ago we talked about it. You and I just adamantly <laughs> disagree on this movie. Yeah, I you love I it, right? I really love it, dude. I just think it's such a fun movie. I mean, if you want to compromise and put it as a B, it sounds like the B is like the compromise. <laughs> B for compromise. I I I probably put it as an A. It, it's not scary by any means, you know what I mean. But I think it's just so well done with the practical effects and and the story and the family. Like it's it's just it's a lot of fun. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Um. Yeah. I just. I don't know, man. Maybe I, I should give it another shot. I, I think the I mean it's the a Spielberg movie, best. really. At the end of the day, yeah. like that's that's the thing. It's just a Spielberg. It's movie. so conflicting because apparently, like, he, there's there's <laughs> photos of him being on set, but then apparently mm-hmm. he was filming a different movie at, at the time. So like, yeah, he I forgot. Was it ET? It, I think he was doing at the time, something or? like that. It was yeah. one of his big movies that he was filming. So he was at a different set, coming in doing this, but it was like. It's weird, you know, um, yeah, because <laughs> it, it definitely has it feels like a Spielberg movie, but it also feels like a Hooper movie at the same time, because so many of his other movies have flashes of what you see in that. I, of, to me, I, I honestly went in thinking, I don't know why, when I first saw it, I thought it was a Spielberg movie. And then really? when it was over, when I saw Hooper in the credits, I was like, I was like, what the fuck? No way. Yeah. I, that's when I read about the whole thing with yeah, the other the kind of the the director thing and it's it's interesting but yeah i I love it i thought i think it's a great movie yeah i'll give it a second shot um i just watched uh this summer the sequels and i thought the third one was the best one or the second i haven't seen the sequels actually i need to second one's kind of bad but the third one Mm. just embraces the camp and understands that like they're really doing dumb shit so (laughs) they just kind of embrace it prince of darkness have you seen it no i have not that so I'm classic, only gonna though. put I've seen this it so many times. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in B in our compromise category. Yeah, only because like it's been so long since I've seen it, and I feel like I was unfair for the way I felt of it. I gave it four mm. stars, but there's some people that swear it's like bigger and stuff like that. Mm. But I think like a seven and a half to an eight out of ten is like perfect for that movie. It yeah. just it didn't capture me like some of Carpenter's other movies. Makes sense. And I know you hate this one, dude. You've talked about hate. Dude, this I fucking one, like... don't like the rich. <laughs> but the, it, the dude, the Japanese one. The Japanese awesome. one is great. I fucking yeah. love R- the uh, Ringu. Um, yeah. And the Aero Disc is great. But like, uh, yeah. yeah, the Ring. I, I I don't hate it as much as you do. I think you want to give it a D. I'd probably give it a C. Yeah, I dude, I I gave it a two. I, I one and a half or two stars, dude. It just did not do yeah. it for me at all. It's not. Yeah, that these great. ones are all like speed run ones, man. Oh, dude, fucking S tier. I mean, at least for me, I I know. I, I think you'd give it an A. You said, I, I I'd give it. I have at four and a half <laughs> stars. I started to appreciate it more over time. Yeah. Um, I just don't think it's as perfect as people say, but I know it's going to keep growing on me. I've seen oh, it about dude, three or four times. These are all S tier almost. So yeah, Silence of the Lamb is S tier to me. I don't think you and I have ever talked about it, but I I think it's a, almost a perfect. Movie. I mean, it is a perfect movie, honestly. It's a it's a four four and a half for me. Um, okay. out of five 
uh, again, another one of those ones that the more I rewatch it, the more I appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. I mean, if a movie can do that, like Hereditary, you and I have <laughs> talked about that. I gave it mm-hmm. two and a half, three stars on my original review. And I've seen really? it a few times since then. Oh, the Yeah, when I went and saw an IMAX, that is what got me. I, I knew I loved the score and I liked a lot of what it did. I just didn't think it was, again, it was overhyped for me at the time. Mm-hmm. So now that people stop talking about it and I can kind of, you know, just lock yeah, in on it. Yeah, zone all that out. Yeah. And then, yeah, we don't even have to talk about that. Yeah, but. that's an S tier. The about thing S tier. They live. I actually saw this after Will had recommended when we did when he was doing so job, John Carpenter rating. I, I liked it a lot. I'd probably I you it sounds like you'd give it an A. I'd probably give it a B. Yeah. I, I that's fun. My you could put it as an A. Yeah, that's like your favorite, favorite John Carpenter. Carpenter. Yeah, it just oh, wow. it's so fun. There, yeah, there, he has it's definitely like. different from you know his filmography. I like um, this one. Let's go ahead and skip to this one. What is that one, dude? There. Village of the Damned. That's another Carpenter. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. I got you. Okay. Oh <laughs> like, shit, dude! Like, I no, honestly not even talk about. <laughs> I went because I'm I'm gonna still buy it when I can catch it on sale. But they just dropped it in 4K, and I was like, wow, I haven't seen it because I never. It, it was blocked out on my letterbox like I had seen it, but I was like, I don't remember this. So I finally went to go look at my review, dude. I trashed this movie when I saw it three Damn. years ago. Apparently, like I did Jesus not Christ. have a good time, and for me to not remember it, you got to be bad, bad for me to not remember you at all, and especially if it's Jesus. only been a few years. Yeah. But um. You've seen your next, right? Yeah, I saw it again. So, like, remember that podcast? And I was confused as to which movie this was, and I was like, I yeah, thought it was something else. So I, next. yeah, and I was like confused. So I watched it again, and I was like, okay, now I remember this movie. It's a fun movie. I, I think it's like a B. I don't think it's like an A, but I mean, what? what yeah, did you think I, I think about it's it? so fun. I, I'd put it in A just because I think it's so fun. And there's it is fun. It, it's yeah. a fun movie. Like it turns into something that it's just kind of this yeah it's just it's like fucking home alone like home defense yeah. against like home invaders yeah. like it's but it's, it's a fun movie i didn't hate it let's see uh, what we're gonna rank this i know uh, you and i both uh, love this movie. yeah i pro i don't know if i put it as an s tier though i i'd probably put it as an a but I, I don't know what you think about that and we're talking yeah. about trigger two for people who can't uh look at it's the actually been a few years since i've seen this man really um, did you watch it yeah, like last year uh no uh, oh. probably two years ago last around last halloween i usually rewatch it i have the mm-hmm. blu-ray maybe i'll pop that in but my 4k won't be here on time it still hasn't shipped yeah <laughs> well yeah dude yeah you said yeah like you copped it in time and everything and it's still not here. yeah on zavi and i'm so pissed off because i didn't manage to find the copy in time oh, um man, or I, I, I gave up on that pre-order release, stuff dude. zavi yeah. dude i mean it was like yeah it was, it's a pretty penny man i just hope it doesn't become one of those us releases that goes out of print super quick yeah because then i'll be kind of pissed off if it does it might i can see it happening because that one had an le right no that one was just a slip oh really i thought it had yeah, an le edition an LA. oh shit well, that's an original art edition. that's about it yeah i mean it's it's a really solid we've talked about trick or treat before i think it's just like that you know the anthology is just so well done and the way it kind of all interweaves and wraps up at the end is so cool and i think he's honestly one of the most underutilized fucking uh villains i forget his name the little pumpkin kid um uh sam yeah sam. i can't believe he's never thought i mean i know he's gotten like in dude. progress about it but he needs to make a sequel yeah to. dude that lollipop is such a cool fucking murder weapon and i'm, I'm shocked it hasn't been utilized anymore but i think that yeah. was all of them right yeah we're done yeah dude so we did i mean we were 30 minutes over but <laughs> there's like 10 so we, we haven't seen 88 movies that'll be the title movies. ranking Holy 88 shit. horror movies Hey, Holy crap. not too far off from 88 minutes. We yeah, are so really like, actually at right about yeah, like 80 minutes. Yeah, so like a minute each one. That's not too bad. Yeah. Honestly, I thought it'd take a little bit longer, but yeah, we killed it, man. Yeah. Cool. And it's a pretty Sweet. good ranking, especially like, yeah. a, of course, some of these in no particular order, unless we said. I, kinda I, yeah, I think Papa that's, Duke now. I, I don't want to kind of go, yeah, to go through each tier and like re- reorder them. I know we probably could, but I think that's that's a fair assessment of where these movies are at. Yeah, I think that looks great cool well yeah, we yeah. appreciate you guys for watching comment down below let us know what you think of the ranking or if there are any movies here for like the top 100 that you didn't see that you know maybe we didn't think about let us know but we appreciate you guys for watching uh, like subscribe and we will catch you on the next one later everybody